சாப்டர் டூ தாட்ஸ் ரப்பின் பை மணிகண்டன் மை செல்ஃப் பேரடாக்ஸஸ் ஆக்சிமோரான்ஸ் அண்ட் டங் ட்விஸ்டர்ஸ் எ குட் மேன் கெனாட் பி ஆல் டுகெதர் சியர்ஃபுல் அண்டர் ஓல்ட் ஏஜ் அண்ட் பாவர்ட்டி கம்பைன்ட் அண்ட் ஸோ ஆன் த அதர் நோ வெல்த் கேன் எவர் மேக் அ பேட் மேன் அட் பீஸ் வித் ஹிம் செல்ஃப் பிளாட்டோ த ரிப்பப்ளிக் A paradox might look like it is going to contradict itself, but actually it isn't. It is an oxymoron that cancels out itself. Let us see the definitions. According to the Oxford Learner's Dictionary, a paradox is a person, thing or situation that has two opposite features and therefore seems strange. An example cited there was, he was a paradox, a loner who loved to chat to strangers. In philosophy, there are many paradoxes. There is the Catch-22 paradox. Uh, Barber's Paradox, Raven's Paradox, Curry's Paradox, Liar's Paradox, Ship of Theseus Paradox, Ship of Theseus Paradox and many more. The Catch-22 Paradox is for example when someone is in need of something, it can only be had by not having it. An example cited is that of a soldier who wanted to be declared insane to avoid combat uh, will be deemed not insane for the very same rationalism he exhibits. This Catch-22 Paradox could also be extended to monks who in order to understand the world how to renounce the very world that they live in a liar's paradox is if a person says i am from a place where people always speak lies or this sentence is false how are they to be trusted and proceed uh, curry's paradox is a claim that is asserted based on an arbitrary condition for example if india wins the cricket match against west indies today then china borders india Uh, the antecedent the first part before it will have no relation to what follows if consequent uh, the consequent also the consequent need not always be true it could be a false statement as well the barber's paradox is a male barber shaves all and only men those men uh, who do not shave themselves does he have does she shave does he shave himself the ship of theseus paradox is based on greek history If all the parts of Theseus famous ship are replaced one by one over a period of time is it still the same uh, original famous ship it could be extended to a man and his belief system as well having listed some paradoxes oxymorons can be defined an oxymoron is a figure of speech that has two con- two contradictory words put together side by side but it is meaningful for example a pretty ugly wise fool awfully good cruel kindness uh found missing clearly misunderstood definitely maybe alone together or some oxymorons thus it could be summarized as follows all oxymorons are paradoxes but not all paradoxes are oxymorons there are tongue twisters which are grammatically correct difficult to spell continuously for more times without slipping and are used in alliterations in speech therapy to improve pronunciation and fluency by repeating the same letter more times alliterations example peter piper picked a peck of uh, pickled peppers a peck of pickled peppers peter piper picked if peter piper picked a peck of pickled peppers where is the peck of pickled peppers peter piper picked betty butter bought some butter but she said the butter's bitter if i put it in my batter it will make my batter bitter but a bit of better butter will make my batter bitter so references vocabulary oxford learners dictionary and wikipedia there might be some mistakes uh, please note there may be some mistakes as i can uh, see now uh, the mistakes are uh, like unintentional and uh, it could be it could have been avoided and it could have come from any place whether uh, myself or during the editing process or wherever it may be i please uh, ask for your understanding in this part thanks there are also morphemes morphemes are the fundamental structural units uh, which uh, make up a word like for example mm, metamorphosis word has two morphemes meta and morphosis metamorphosis metaverse has two morphemes meta and verse so these are the structural parts which compose the word the syllable even further down if we break uh, we get syllables so syllables uh, as per merriam webster dictionary it is a unit of spoken language that is next bigger than a speech sound and consists of one or more vowel sounds alone or of a syllabic consonant alone 
or of either with one or more consonant sounds preceding or following so for example the word syllable itself can be broken down sil la bil so these three compose the word syllable uh, and uh, by a centered so it is separated by a centered dot or a hyphen and roughly corresponding to the syllables of spoken language and treated as helps to pronunciation or as guides to placing hyphens at the end of a line so if you see syllables or a word is composed of syllables and then uh, more, uh, two words can be combined together two words when they combine together to form another word word uh, those two words are individually called morphemes and if the two, uh, two contrasting words are placed next to each other they are called oxymorons and if on a higher scale if a sentence uh, is going to have two contradicting uh, fr- phrases or parts they are the sentence is known to be as is is could it could be called as a paradox thanks